can make my MPC sound like a SP404. Check this out. So yes, we're gonna make your MPC, Ableton or whatever machine, whatever you use, sound like a 404. Now I love the 404. I got my Basquiat Influence 404 that is, is just my joint, my, my go-to compressor. You know, I use it to compress everything. The compressor in the 404s are amazing, 303 amazing, 555 amazing, OG 404 the best, you already know. But um, you can theoretically do the same type of compression on your MPC. And when you're on the 404, the basic concept of the 404 is you got your sample. Um, when you're ready to add your compression, compression, you just turn your samples down and bring your drums up. And you kind of level things off until you kind of get that pump and fill. And you can kind of, you can do the same thing on the, on the MPC. So, okay, I got my beat. Let me play this beat. Right. So I got my beat, got all my elements going. Now, the first thing I want to do, I want to turn the sample down. That's my sample there. We're going to bring that down. To the point where it almost sounds kind of like, you know, weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to bring the bass line down. And most likely, I'll probably bring them hi-hats down a little too because those might kind of get in the way. Hold on. All right, now once I got my levels kind of where I want them, I'll go to um, my my master. That's where I want to rock off of, my master. So let me get to my master. Uh, menu, shampoo, here we go. Programs. Now I'm on my master fader. So on my master fader, I'm going to use the air compressor. I find that sounds the closest to a 404, in my opinion. So boom, my air compressor's on, play it. Now instantly we're starting to get that pump and fill. So I'm gonna turn the volume up. Now the key is, you know, the attack and the release, the threshold, of course, you gotta kinda tweak it to get the fill that you want. even bring that um that clap down a little bit that's a little loud and yeah you start to get that full force sound right there 